Hey everyone, welcome to the Penny Pinching Prepper channel. Today we got a fun one for you. We're going to do the uh, beeswax waterproofing compound. Uh, this is part two video to my um, backpacking cot slash uh, stretcher. Um, so today we're going to go over how to make the waterproofing compound so that we're prepared later on in the week probably uh you know another three days or so something like that we'll uh actually show how to wrap it up and finish making the the cot um what it's going to take and you know all that but having the waterproofing first will you know make things a little easier for you guys and me definitely so guys if you're new to the channel do me a favor, consider subscribing if this is, you know, educational, informational, or anything like that. Get down and, and subscribe, that would be greatly appreciated. For those of you who've been around for a while, do me a favor, give me a thumbs up if you like the video. Um, you know, give me a thumbs down if you don't. Either which way, it helps me out in the algorithms. Um, and comments guys please leave some comments even if it's just a smiley face or something like that some sort of an emoji but i do like answering and and interacting in the comments so feel free to get down there and, and uh tell me how i did or if the you liked the video or if it's something that would help you or just anything so uh without further ado let's get into this before i you know find myself blabbing too much so we're going to need a propane stove. We're going to do this outside because we're working with flammables today and we don't want to burn down the kitchen, right? So uh, what you're going to need for this project is you're going to need one pound of beeswax in a pot. I already weighed it up. It's one pound. Uh, didn't want to torture you guys with making this video too long. So there's the wax. All right. You're going to need a one cup measuring cup all right you're gonna need some boiled linseed oil preferably the boiled not just the straight up linseed oil which is kind of harder to find these days in all honesty you're gonna need some turpentine all right if you don't have a one pound block and you're using the little little beads like i am of beeswax you're gonna need yourself a food scale to measure it out on which i already took care of so you ain't gotta watch me go through that um, you're gonna need some sort of a stirring stick got one right there of course you're gonna need a way to light up your stove that's without saying right and then uh some sort of some containers i got these at the dollar tree um to put the the compound in when you're all done so it's not just sitting in your pot you know taking up your pot all the you know in case you need it for something else all right so i'm gonna pull this in a little bit tighter so you can see a little better of what's going on all right and uh try to center it just a little bit and we're gonna light up the stove And we don't want to get too hot because we don't want to scorch the bottom of the pan or bring the the wax to a boil or anything so we want to keep it down at a, a minimum we don't need to go real high we just want to melt it slowly all right and guys i'm not going to bore you I'll, I'll cut in a couple of times to to show you how it's you know melting down and everything but i'm not going to make you go through the the whole melting down process all right so uh I'm going to go ahead and pause this for a moment while it starts to melt. Alright guys, as you can see it's starting to melt a little bit. It's getting there. You know, it's not too hot. You don't you see any, not, no bubbles coming up. It's not boiling. It's just melting down. So uh, we'll let it melt a little further and get back to you guys. Alright, as you can see, we're getting down there. We're almost done. There's a couple of hairs that got in there. You probably can't see it, but it's no big deal if a little bit of, uh, you know, 
crud gets in there. It's not going to hurt it. All right, guys. Okay, now it's all stirred up and boiled down. You can see it's all liquefied, right? It's good and warm. Now we're going to go ahead and turn the fire off because the next part is going to deal with some really flammable stuff and uh, we don't want to start a fire. So I'm going to go ahead and move the stove back, get it out of the way. Bring this back into view. All right. And then we're going to get out the measuring tape. All right. And we're going to put in one cup of this here uh, turpentine. One, one cup of the turpentine. All right. So let's measure that out. We don't want to be guessing here. We, we want the right consistency when it's all done. All right, one cup of turpentine. And then we want... Make sure you guys shake these bottles real well too, especially the boiled linseed or linseed oil. Messed up, said linseed oil, but y'all know what I mean—the linseed oil, all right? Now, especially when you put this linseed oil in, there's a possibility that it's gonna try to coagulate or you know start to cool down real, real, real fast when you put it in. And uh, some of that beeswax might uh, kind of, Oop, sorry, I didn't mean to shake you guys there. So go ahead and stir it back up. Make sure that it's all mixed in real good when you get it all, get your boiled linseed oil in and your turpentine and make sure it's gone back to all liquid. Up here along the edges doesn't really matter too much, but the solution needs to be all done. And, uh, guys, this is my second batch. I, I made a batch earlier to uh, make this video go along a little faster for y'all. And uh, you'll see here in a second, this tin I'm about to pour it into already has a little bit in there. But we're going to go ahead and top it off. Now, if it's metal, you can do it right away. But if it's the, uh, some plastic containers, which I did a few plastic containers too, um, you know, just a little bigger than a shoe polish. So that, uh, I had some for backpacking. Alright, so, go ahead and top that off as high as you can get it. I did waste a little bit here, there on the table, but who cares, no big deal. And uh, what we're going to do is let that sit until it, it uh, hardens up again, all right? So for now, I'm going to pause you. I'm going to move everything out of the way, and I'm going to get some of the other stuff I have and uh, show you how well this stuff turns out. All right, all. So to finish this up, what you're going to need is whatever fabric you're going to be using and we're going to use a little bit of this canvas it's the same canvas that uh, we're using for the uh, backpackers cot all right the frameless backpackers cot all right you'll need a hair blower woohoo and then uh, this is one of those little containers I was telling you about that I, I put it in and you got to let it cool down a little bit, not so much that it starts to coagulate, but enough that uh, it's not going to melt the plastic. And This is kind of what it looks like when it's done, really nice and soft. You know, it's not hard like beeswax normally would be. Alright, and then you're going to need a second cloth. Alright, and what you need to do is just get some on your cloth. Alright. So we'll get a little bit on our cloth here. All right, nice little mount there. And just kind of spread it out a little bit. And uh, 
uh, it will kind of crumble a little bit so just put it right back on there and smear it in all right now I'm not gonna bore you with doing the whole thing so I'm gonna go ahead and cut you off why I do this but you know you, you get the concept you're just working it in all right doesn't need to be super thick just needs to be over everything all right folks when you get it all done I don't know if you can tell the color difference but that's what it looks like on one side after you get it spread all over the whole thing here's the other side it should be a little more beige less yellow I'm not sure if the shadow is gonna make a difference or not but once you get it done make sure you got the the wax side up that you you know you spread it all over on and then you're gonna take the hair blower all right and you're gonna work it around real good and get it melted in and, and I don't want to trouble you guys with all the noise so I'm, I'm gonna pause you and I'll do it um, and show you when I'm all done okay but keep moving make sure that you know you can get close and keep moving but don't leave it in one place for very long we don't want to burn the fabric all right we don't want it scorched so let me pause you and I'll get back in a moment all right guys once you get it all done you'll notice well maybe you will like I said I'm not sure about the lighting and everything but you'll hopefully notice that it's the same color on both sides which means it, it soaked in real good and all that now it's still warm and we're going to take a few more seconds and I'll shut you off so you this video don't get too long but uh take the time to let it cool down and really set in the fabric before it, it's ready and the other thing is if you're doing this out you know in the bush it, it's one of those things where uh you don't have a hair blower you can set it out in the hot sun and let it sit there all day and it, it should you know slowly work its way in and, and melt in and everything um if you're going to use a, a fire don't get it too close to the fire you don't want to go up in flames this has become mighty flammable now so uh something to keep in mind <clears throat> uh talking about like basically a candle now but for waterproofing i'm telling you you can't beat this guys this stuff works great and i'll actually demonstrate it here in a little bit i got a cup of water right here and i'll show you how well it actually beads up all right so let me get back to you in a moment all right guys now that's had a moment to set a little bit let me show you how well this stuff works all right as you can see it's still fabric still soft still bendable you can roll it up whatever you need to do and uh if it was straight beeswax it would be a lot stiffer than that and it would crack show little cracks when you you do that not to mention this stuff like i said works so much easier than the straight beeswax but got just a glass of water here and let me show you how it works all right you see beads up rolls off real nice see how that just beads up rolls right off all right a little bit will stick on there you can shake it off no big deal but if you notice on the other side it's staying really nice and dry so uh guys this is just a way to make a good easy beeswax compound all right so for waterproofing there it is that's how well it works let me show you one more time just pour it on you see it instantly wants to beat up and roll right off all right dry on the other side all right good stuff works real great if you want to say hello to my neighbors say hello to my neighbors there they are. Good looking bunch, huh? <laughs> Anyways, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end this video. And uh, I want you to remember, God's good and God bless. Oh, one last thing. If you stay to the end of the video, you like what you saw, give me a thumbs up. And if you have any questions or just want to make a comment, please put them down below. That always helps. Uh, and for those new subscribers, like I said in the beginning, if you like what you see, do me a favor, subscribe. It would be greatly appreciated. All right. So once again, remember, God's good and God bless.